Kindergartners, today you're going to be turning your clay pendant into a necklace. So you're going to get your clay pendant back and it's going to have a piece of wire around it. And that's what's going to hang around your neck. My first job is if I'm a number three, I'm going to go and get the paint trays, the lunch tray paints from the sink. And I'm going to bring that back for my table to paint. I'm going to paint my clay any colors that I would like. I might need to do a, a few different coats. That means I might have to go over some spots more times than others. But I'm going to paint my pendant before I do anything else. Now my clay has lots of different textures to it, so I have to make sure that no white space is still showing. I need to paint the sides. I think I'm going to change my color to red. The sides and the back. No white space, kindergartners. When my white space is all filled in, I've got a paint a necklace, I'm ready to start adding some beaded patterns. Now at your table, you're going to have a little tray of beads, and you have been talking about different kinds of patterns. An AB pattern would be two different kinds of colors repeating, so I might go dark green and then yellow. Green and yellow, kind of like those Packers. Need another green and a yellow. I think I might want to change my pattern. My next pattern is going to be orange and blue. Orange and then blue. I am going to do different kinds of A, B patterns going all the way up my string. Orange and blue. I think I'm going to change my pattern. I might do wooden bead, shiny bead, wooden bead, shiny bead, shiny pink bead, I think I'm going to say wooden bead, shiny pink bead. I can change my pattern as many times as I would like, but I need to see some different patterns showing on your necklace. My next pattern I think is going to be white. white, orange. Do you notice this is kind of a different pattern? White, white, orange. That's still a pattern. That's a different than an AB pattern, but it's still a pattern. White, white, orange. So you might make up some different kinds of patterns other than an AB pattern, and that's cool too. I want to fill up a whole side with different pattern beads. White, white, orange. I'm going to switch again. I'm going to go purple, red. Purple, red. Purple, and red. Now once I've gotten almost to the end, I've got a little bit left, I need to put this off to the side. Now if I'm rough with this string, all of my beads will fall off. So how I protect them from that is I fold it over in half. I fold it over in half so that none of my beads are going to fall off. Do you notice how I've created a little kink in my wire there, kindergartners? That means I have time and I can go to the other side and I can make some different patterns there. Yellow, pink. Yellow, pink. Yellow, pink. I need to do patterns across this other side. I'm going to do patterns all the way up on the other side. I'm going to put a kink in my end. And then when you're finished, you're going to carry both of those kinks really carefully over to me or Mrs. Reese. And we are going to twist those kinks together and you have a beautiful necklace that you can take home today, kindergarten. Great job, I can't wait to see how these beautiful necklaces turn out.